Hello friends, today I am going to discuss how to construct a DFA. So before I start, uh, we will see the formal definition of DFA. So what is DFA? It contains 5 tuples, uh, that is capital Q, sigma, delta, Q0 and capital F. What is capital Q here? Set of states and sigma is the set of input alphabets. Delta is a transition function that is a mapping from Q into sigma to capital Q. And Q0 is my start state and capital F is my final state. We will see one example, then it will be more clear. Uh, let's take this example. So, the given graph is a transition graph or a DFA for a given language. So, here how many states we have in the graph? So, states will be represented by a circle. So, we can see that we have two states here Q0 and Q1. So, my capital Q will be Q0 and Q1. And the uh, input alphabets are 0 and 1. And uh, start state will always be represented uh, using a circle with a arrow symbol. So that's why my start state is Q0. And final state, how will we represent final state? Using two concentric circles. So that's why Q0 is my final state also. So from the given transition graph, how to draw the transition table? So here we'll write all the possible states and here we'll write all the possible inputs. So we have two states Q0 and Q1 and two input alphabets 1 and 0. So, for given input alpha, for given state Q0, if I am giving 0 as an input, what is my next state? My next state is Q1. So, that's why I am going to write Q1 here. For the same state Q0, if I am giving 1 as an input, what is my next state? Q0 only. Similarly, for Q1, if I am giving 0 as an input, my next state is Q0. If I am giving 1 as an input, my next state is Q1 only. We shall see some more example of how to construct a DFA now. So, let's take this example. Construct a DFA to accept 0 plus 1 star. So, what does it mean? 0 plus 1 star means any combination of 0 and 1 including null string. So, what is my minimum string here? Null. So, that's why my start and final state both are same. So, that null will also be accepted. And any combination of 0 and 1 means any number of 0 string that contains any number of 0 and 1. So, that's why self loop of 0 and 1 here. Let's take another example. Construct a DFA to accept 0, 0 followed by 0 plus 1 star. What does it mean? Uh, a DFA should uh, accept all the string that starts with 0, 0 and at the end I can have any combination of 0 and 1 star. So any combination of 0 and 1 star means here 0 plus 1 star means null will also be accepted. So that's why 0, 0 followed by null is also valid. So what, what is my minimum string here? 0, 0. So we'll draw a DFA for minimum string first. So 0, 0 is a valid string. So that's why this state is final state. Now this is not complete DFA. So what we have to do? We have to check for all the possible input from each state. So we'll start with the start state. I have already checked for 0. What about 1? It cannot start with 1 because string should always start with 0, 0. So that's why this 1 should go to the dead state. Similarly, from this state, what about the one input alphabet 1? If I put self loop here, what will I get? 0, 1, 0. That is also valid. But it should not accept this string. The DFA should not accept 0, 1 star 0. Because it should start with 0, 0 always. So that's why this one also should go to the dead state. And what about this final state? Because after 0, 0, any combination of 0 and 1 means any number of 0 and 1. So that's why self loop of 0 and 1 here. We will see another example. Construct a DFA to accept 0 plus 1 star followed by 0, 0 followed by 0 plus 1 star. Means it should contain 0, 0 as a substring. And in the beginning I can have any combination of 0 and 1. Similarly at the end I can have any combination of 0 and 1. So my minimum string is 0, 0. So first we will construct the DFA for the minimum string. So 0, 0 is valid. So that is why this state is final state. Now we will check for other possible string also. So for this state, uh, I have already checked for 0. What about 1? If I put self loop of 1 here, so what are the possible strings? Any number of 1 followed by 0, 0. Fine, that is valid string. What about this uh, state? If I put self loop of 1 here, my string will be 0, any number of 1, 0. So obviously 0, 0 will not be there. And uh, the DFA should contain 0, 0 as a substring always. In the beginning and at the end, I can have any combination of 0 and 1. But if I put self loop of 1 here, 
I'll not get. Uh, I mean, the string will not contain zero zero as a substring. So that's why this one should go to the start string. So now uh, we can see any number of one zero one zero zero. So obviously it contains zero zero as a substring. So it is valid one. Now at the end, obviously after zero zero, any combination of zero and one. So I have put self loop of zero and one. So now this uh, DFA is uh, complete. Thank you.